My colleague, Paul Cisco, has more on the story. Fact. Although Africa's women have made major societal strides, they still face an unreasonable amount of discrimination and inequality. The African Union has declared 2015 the year of women's empowerment and development. African Union Commission Chair Noko Sazana Dalami Zuma says it is a key part of a 50-year plan to bring about a, quote, integrated, prosperous, and peaceful Africa. I would like to see an improvement in women in leadership on the continent, women in business. So those are some of the priorities for this decade, in addition to whatever each woman and each group of women have defined for themselves. Joyce Bandis served Malawians as president from 2012 to 2014. Catherine Samba Panza is the acting president of the Central African Republic. And after building her nation back from civil war, Liberia's President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf is guiding her country through the Ebola crisis. You've been able to empower women. How specifically have you been able to do that? What we've done when it comes to uh, professional women, I mean, we've just opened a political space so that more and more of them aspire and participate in political life. But perhaps more importantly, um, we've empowered rural women, women farmers, women marketeers, and we've done that by giving them better working conditions. Um, we've done that by employment opportunities through vocational training. Fact, women and girls are often denied an education on the continent. Education is at the center, not only of women empowerment, but the youth as well. But we feel strongly that we should now move beyond primary education to higher education, to science and technology, to innovation, so that this continent can indeed become prosperous. If there was um, a young lady and wanted to follow in your footsteps, what does she need to do? To don't be deterred by the difficulties that she will face. And above all, get the education that makes you competent to achieve your objectives. Fact. Access to family planning and maternal health services lowers fertility rates and improves economic development. Fact. Lastly, more women work more hours, earn far less money, often none at all, and contribute more than African men to their families, communities, and countries. Gender experts say equality statutes exist but are not effective, enforced, or generally adhered to. Girls and women are still often denied schooling, resources, opportunities, health care, and even denied land ownership rights. Another obvious fact, innocent women and children suffer significantly in male-dominated wars and post-war states. Paul Sisko, VOA News.